tunnel at Wembley. Um, a little bit empty now. Yeah, devastating, you know. Build up for the last month, I suppose, and then picture everything in your head, and then it just, just, just devastated, really drained. You know. Powell's gone. You don't bank on anything like that happening, perhaps at League Two level at all, let alone a final. Not really, no. Um, we spoke about it, you know, like we spoke about the throw and how we were going to set up, and it was too easy, really. And then I got it to him, and it's an incredible finish, I suppose. You know, there's not much I can really do there, but still really disappointed. And then we have about eight good chances, I suppose. You know, we could get back in the game, and they don't take any of them. And you can't, you can't do that, you know. If you want to get it back in the game, you can't continue to miss chances. Half time, you might have even not wanted half time because things were ticking along so nicely at that stage. You were in the game, you were dominating the game. Yeah, we, we always felt like we were going to get back into it and just have to take those chances when they come your way, you know. Um, I'm not going to name names, I'm not going to blame anybody, but you just, as a team, as a group, we have to take those chances, you know. And then when you, they, you don't take them, you just leave yourself open at the back as you press forward more and more and just. just Sucker punch down the second one. Everybody's been saying, you know, how proud everybody is of the season as a whole. But I suppose because of the finality of this, there isn't another game to put it right, and it there is no there there is no second opportunity, is there? That, that that's why everybody is so flat. Yeah, it'll hurt. You know, it's going to hurt for the next four or five weeks. Just, just because it's the last game, and you know, no way of getting back and you know just getting it out of your system. So. It's really disappointing. You stayed in England. You could have gone back to Ireland last summer. You stayed in England to try and have a, a, another tilt at a promotion. You got very, very close. Um, are you going to stay another year? Let's see. I'm, I'm, like my contract is there for another year, but I'll have to speak to the manager, see what players are kept and what the plan is for next season and players he brings in, you know. So I don't want to stay here and just go through the motions for another season. I want to be back in these kind of situations. And, even in the automatic spots, you know, so we'll have to wait and see. The base must be there, though, because the side has done so well this year. People like, you know, Butland and Spencer have been brought in on loan. They've, they've added to the mix that's already been here. So, in a sense, the unit has well, it's far exceeded most, most people's expectations outside the club. Yeah, I've said it since day one that I thought the quality was in the group to get all the way. Um, fortunately, we had a bad march. And then we did to these, and I thought we'd, we'd come up this way, you know, so. Uh, the Gaffer's recruitment has been quite good over the summer, so it'll, it'll be up to him, you know, during this summer to do the exact same thing and put a good squad together. If he can do that, he might, he might, he might keep a few of the lads who are, who are here, you know. But he's got a lot of hard work to do. Let's we'll see what happens. At the end, a lot of players are on the pitch from watching the crew go up and getting the trophy. And I've heard a lot of people say, you know, remember how that feels because you want to be in that position where you want to, you don't want to go through that again. Is is, is that a genuine motivator for players? That sort of Disappointment, or I mean, it probably doesn't feel like it now, but when you report back from pre season, do you remember that moment and how it felt? I won't forget that, I won't forget that for a long time. Cut through me, you know. Uh, I, wanted to be, I wanted to be the one going up there, I won't, I won't forget about that. Uh, would it seem a, a difficult close season because of how this one's finished? Yeah, we'll just go away and see my family now and relax for a bit. And, Get back in the gym, maybe. See, see. I'm just sorry. I can't. I can't. I'm just, I'm just so down. But I'm really de devastated. You know. I think people, people can understand how you look and how you sound. It, it's, it's, a, it's a feeling that Cheltenham have not experienced before in a playoff final because they've got to two previously won them, uh, then they won them both. That's yeah, the first playoff game that Cheltenham have lost. And Worst way it is, I suppose. It's on this, it's, everybody said losing here was it was a shocking, feel, a terrible feeling, you know. And I can fully agree with that. Thank you, man. Alan, do, do you think a time will come where you can look back on this season with pride for what you've achieved against the odds? If you look back at the outside of the club against the odds from the start of the season, maybe, maybe, John. I don't know. Um, you'll have to come and ask me that. To start the next season, maybe. I don't, I don't know at the moment. Just, just so down about it, you know. Yeah, um, and you've, you've been in a nice bath, and, and you've been looked sort of 
managing yourself very carefully to, to get you to the end of the season. The amount of games you played, you, you must be pleased that you've played over 50 games at the age of 30 at, at this level and, and, and yeah, perform well consistently. Yeah, and in that sense, quite proud, you know, but kind of seems for nothing now, you know. Um, and yeah, the second half, that was incredible. The heat was unbelievable. I couldn't even speak sometimes. And trying to communicate across the back four and stuff. It's something I've never experienced, you know. And, uh, it's another experience, I suppose. It's, it's not the best of ones, but something that you just have to bounce back from. Yeah, they're probably the worst team to be playing against in these conditions, chasing the game, aren't they? Because of the way they play. Yeah, like, to an extent. 30 minutes to either side of half time maybe, you know. Um, felt like there was only one team going to score, you know, and get eight or nine good chances, you have to take one. And then that one all maybe they go about it a different way, but you know, you take a chance and just you know, you just leave yourself open and you can get more and more desperate like so. Yeah, I know it's no consolation, but the, the, the lad who scored their first goals not going to Manchester United for some people say four million. I mean, obviously young talent. Have you seen some players in this squad this season you think can go on a play at a high level from what they've shown at Cheltenham? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, Marlon, Garbs, Jack, as we see, Summers, good lads, like good, good, good professionals, you know. And Sido, it's a good, good go-to squad, like you know. What I mean, there's such a good group there. Even the lads who weren't involved, like Lowy, and it's hard on him, you know, the two lows, like, uh, so it'll be down to the manager now, we'll see what he does in the summer, he's got a big job ahead of him, because he'll have to uh, at least match what he's done in this off-season, so that'll be a major factor for me, like, whether, whether, what my future will be, you know. Yeah, yeah, can I ask you one question about your future? Is, yeah. So it's up to the manager to persuade you that there's going to be another push for success next season, is that what you want to hear? Absolutely, yeah. I'm not going to stay here and, and just go through the motions, you know. And, uh, I want to be not in this position next year. I want to be top three automatic, you know. And the chairman's had a good year. He can't deny that, you know. He can't come up and say anything else. But So it'll be down to him. Hopefully he'll, he'll invest as he has done and, and, we, can, and we can build on this. Because um, that's what we have to do. We can't go backwards, you know. Yeah.